Good news for Tesla drivers with Android smartphones. With the latest Tesla software update 2025.2 and the app version 4.41.0, Ultra Wideband for Android is finally released. This means that non-iPhone users can now use the popular hands-free trunk functionality. After a truly long wait, Tesla has finally implemented Ultra Wideband support for Android phones. Ultra Wideband allows for much more accurate phone tracking, leading to new features and a more reliable phone key. Tesla initially rolled out Ultra Wideband phone key and app support for iOS users with software update 2024.2.3 in February 2024. The release notes at the time said, requires iPhone 11 Plus and Tesla app 4.31.0 Plus. A future update will extend this feature to Android users. Most Android phones, especially flagship devices, already support and use ultra wideband for other uses. If you have a Google Pixel 6 or higher, Samsung Fold 2 or higher, Samsung S21 Plus or other recent Android phone, then your phone already supports ultra wideband. Since ultra wideband requires specific hardware, it can't be added to the car in a software update unless the hardware is already in the vehicle. Only some of the latest Tesla vehicles support the new wireless protocol. They include the 2024 Model 3 Highland and later, the 2021 Model S and later, the 2021 Model X and later, the Cybertruck and the 2025 Model Y Juniper. One of the features of ultra wideband support is an improved phone key. The addition of ultra wideband provides a low power way to determine exactly where your phone is in relation to your vehicle. That means the phone key will become more reliable and more precise. That precision is going to be useful for hands-free trunk opening. For the first time, Android users will be able to open the trunk simply by standing behind the vehicle for two seconds. Once the vehicle detects that you haven't moved, three beeps will sound and the trunk will open. I did some experiments to find out the exact positions at which the trunk would open. I tried standing at the left corner of the rear bumper. It did not open. I tried standing at the right corner of the rear bumper. It did not open either. If you stand somewhere in the middle, maybe a bit biased to the left side, that ensures an instant trunk opening. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more.